Okay, let's dive in. First of all, every spring I get a sinus infection. I don't know if it's the pollen. I'm assuming it's the pollen. I've done a little research um, and you know, it's telling me it's the pollen. However, as a small child, I was extremely allergic to everything like milk. Um, I couldn't, I was gonna say milk, cheese. Well, it's like cheese is a milk product. You know what I'm saying? I remember going to the health food store and I had to get carob chips in place of chocolate chips. Considering how much I'm currently obsessed with chocolate, that was a devastation. Um, but I was young, I didn't know how much I liked chocolate. Anyways, okay. So that being said, I did a little research because my client was saying that him and his wife are starting to do like taking bee pollen, does that make sense? I think that's what, they, what he was saying. So that when they come here, they won't be as impacted um, and have allergies when they move. So I was like, that's interesting. Uh, it makes sense, but hadn't thought about it. So anyways, did a little research and this is from the 2022 allergy. Okay, let me not say this. The AAFA, American Allergy, no, that's wrong. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, AAFA, Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. They have produced an allergy report or allergy capitals report since 2003 and they have not reduced, they have not yet at the making of this video, it is February 27th, 2023. The 2023 report has yet, not yet, gosh, this also happens when I have a sinus infection. I can't think straight. And you might be like, Kaylee, really? Is it the sinus infection? I'm telling you, my brain is even more mushy, okay? Uh, okay, that being said, the 2023 report is not yet released. So the data that I'm telling you is based on 2022. As of 2022, Knoxville was 35th out of all of the allergy capitals um, that they did a report on. Um, so I just wanna make sure I'm calling it the right thing. So yeah, 2022 allergy capitals. Now I will say this, when it comes to Tennessee, as of 2022, Memphis was ranked 19. Okay, that's not good. Okay, when I say rank 35 out of 100, like number one meant that you're the worst. And then just in case you're like, Haley, who was number one? It was Scranton, PA, Scranton, Pennsylvania. You might have been in a Super Bowl with Scranton, but you got allergies. Just kidding. Philadelphia, I have no idea where that is in relation to Scranton. I'm gonna have to go look at a map later. Anyhow, that being said, so Memphis was 19 and then Knoxville was ranked 35th. Interestingly, Nashville nor Chattanooga are listed in the top 50, which I don't understand. Nashville was 60, Chattanooga was 55. Okay, so Nashville allergy allergy wise, it sounds like if you want to avoid allergies and you want to move to the state of Tennessee, Nashville looks like it's probably going to be your best bet. Now they're only they're looking at the 100 largest cities or metro areas. So, anyways, Seattle came in 100 and I 100, which means I guess it has the least allergy problems. Better than average is what it says, but it's 100, which is. It's the very last, which is good in this case to be last. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, okay, so what all this entails is basically they look at four factors. And the four factors that the AAFA looks at, the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, they look at spring, spring pollen scores, fall pollen scores, over-the-counter medicine use, and availability of board certified allergists and immunologists. So basically, what's happening with the pollen, what are people buying at the CVS or, or um, what's the other one, Walgreens or whatever, the Dwayne Reed, is it Dwayne Reed? Anyways, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and then basically, can you get care? So what's happening in the environment? What are people buying over the counter? And then do, can you get care from, you know, board certified allergist people? I will also say this, as a child, uh, I know for a fact my brother and I both got allergy shots. I don't know about my sister. I'm gonna have to find that out. I have no idea. 
she's six years younger than me and nine years younger than my brother. So she was basically a whole different generation, you know, so well, not my problem. Um, I'm just kidding. I love you, Jill. Okay. That being said, so 35, Tennessee, Knoxville, excuse me, ranks, ranks 35th in 2022, 35th worse, like one bad, 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 we're 35. So we're in the top 50 basically of worst places to live. Now, according to chat GPT, because that's all the rage that these days, it actually says that Tennessee as a state is ranked 28 overall um, in terms of like worst places to live because I was trying to figure out what percentage of East Tennesseans are impacted. And according to this source, also the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, 26% of Tennesseans experience some sort of allergic symptoms and that could be seasonal allergies, food allergies, and skin allergies. So we're talking today specifically about like seasonal allergies just because like the sinus infection brought that on and every spring, slash late February, I get a sinus infection really bad, like real bad. A client the other day, I was talking to her on the phone and she was like, what is wrong with you? You sound like hell. And I was like, thanks Joanne, appreciate that. Um, but she was right, I sounded really bad. Um, okay, so that being said, our biggest problem here in the area locally is pollens, okay? So, and when I say suffering from allergies, this looks like coughing, runny nose, sore throat, um, runny nose, runny nose, runny nose, itchy nose, sneezing, coughing, etc. cetera. Um, this can be fever. I've let mine go to the point where I had a fever and I was at work and my friend was like, you have to go to the doctor. And I was like, I'm fine. I wasn't fine, okay? Um, I let it get really bad. I have a bad habit of not going to the doctor. But anyways, that being said, um, the main types of pollen, tree pollen, grass pollen, and some weed pollen, although tree pollen is the most uh, prevalent now, or most, I guess, what people recognize. And so a lot of the stuff I was reading is that because yes, it's so beautiful and green here in the spring, it's like a double-edged sword. sword because, or, is that even the right word? I am I should not be making a video while I have a sinus infection. Okay. Basically, yes, it's beautiful here in the spring. However, that being said, the negative of that is that yes, so many flowers are blooming and trees are, you know, the leaves are coming on the trees and it's beautiful, it's green, it's gorgeous, but we got pollen, okay? And people have a uh, reaction. So some of the main things that come about is either, like I said, sinusitis or sinus infection or rhin rhinitis. Forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, but that's basically hay fever. And that would be more like coughing, stuff like that. So that being said, what it's not horrible if you have these. I have this every year, I'm used to it. Um, although mine seems to be getting worse, if that makes sense. I don't know, whatever. Um, but, it is, it is certainly a thing. And some people, like some of the stuff I was reading, it, they're suggesting that you get, like basically what I'm doing is wrong, is essentially what it was saying in my research, that I should not just be like, yeah, it happens every year, that I should be getting like allergy shots or some sort of like go to the immunologist and get like treatment for my immune system so it doesn't get so impacted by pollen in the spring. <laughs> which I hear what you're saying, okay? But I'm just not into it, okay? I'm not gonna do it. Um, and then also something that they were saying that I really took offense to is it was saying contact wearers should try wearing glasses more often during allergy season. That just seems like a pain because I don't like wearing my glasses. I'm used to my contacts. My glasses get in my way, they're too loose, they fall off my head while I'm working out and it is an entire situation which you're like, Haley, you should probably just buy new glasses. I hear what you're saying. However, I'm not doing it, okay? My glasses, they're fine, but I'm not wearing them because they're a pain. So that being said, obviously we have some allergy problems here and we'll see what the 2023 report says, but this is certainly a thing. And you know, maybe if you have a super healthy gut or whatever, I know there's like, there's theories about your gut and your sinuses and it's all wound up together, which I truly believe that, but I'm not a doctor, okay? I'm just a real estate agent. You know what I mean? But I will say that illness, like even right now as I make this video, Loudoun County Schools, 
one of our local school systems in the Knoxville area has been closed due to illness. And part of that is not just students, it's also teachers. Like they don't have enough sub subs to put in place of sick teachers. So um, I think that that is also on the rise just from my experience of being in the school system. Back in the day, we used to never have sick days. Like that was not a thing. And now it's like we have more sick days than snow days. So all my um, climate people out there, tell me about that. Is that a thing? I don't know, I'm just saying, is there a correlation? Anyways, um, yeah, so if you're thinking like, you're gonna come to Tennessee and you're not gonna hear someone sneezing, you're wrong. Because just about a quarter of us have some sort of allergy problem. So anyways, um, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was informative for you. And let me know if you suffer from allergies in the spring or fall, or if you get consistent sinus infections. Um, my husband, interestingly, he doesn't get like a sinus infection, but he gets like coughing bad, bad coughing, bad sneezing, but it's not like his brain is still fine. You know, like he's not foggy. He's, he's not like feeling like trash. Whereas I get like a bad headache, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, that being said, I will see you on the next video.